Hi, well, welcome to this week's blog. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Bake Tech Canal Championships, which is held on the Stain Fork and Kiwi Canal at Thorn. I absolutely love fishing on the Stainy. Uh, I've been on a couple of matches this year there so far. Hasn't really gone to plan, if I'm being quite honest. I, I wasn't able to fish the Winter League. And then I got on the canal for the first round of these matches. Now, in these matches... What you have to do is win your section in order to qualify for the final. So if you can get a section win under your belt, you've got a chance of fishing in the final. So that was my first objective. And I managed to do that on the first match, which was really handy, to be honest. I had £9.15, I think, of just small roach on Bloodworm. I set the stall out for Bloodworm fish. I was quite fortunate in the fact that it didn't really fish in my section with other baits. But it did fish with Bloodworm. But I enjoyed my day's fishing. But I felt a little bit deflated when I got back. Because there was £15, £17, £21, £25. And I just felt like I'd not been in the match. I just felt that I'd been in my own little mini match. And that was it. Sometimes in fishing that happens. But on the Staney, generally speaking, you always felt like you've got a chance of doing well. But we pegged a bit that often throws up some big weights and I suppose that was to be expected. On the next match I decided that I was, because I'd already qualified, I was going to fish Bloodworm for a bit but I wanted to try some other baits, whatever, play around with casters, maybe some Chopworm for a skimmer and I had a similar type of match. I'd drawn in a section and I didn't know it at the time where you only needed £9 to win the section and I caught £8 in probably three and a half hours and then just caught next to nothing for the last hour and a half trying to catch on casters and chop worms. Nine pound five won the section. I had eight pound six. So I thought, oh, could have easily won the section. But again, I think that day there was a 30, two 25s, um, 17, 16. Uh, so I just felt I wasn't in the match. And to be honest, I was a little bit deflated because the Staney that I usually know and love where the weights aren't brilliant, but you could compete by catching lots of fish on Bloodworm, was gone. This was working out great for other anglers who were going and having a chance with casters and hemp who like fishing, that sort of thing. So that's what it's all about. Decided I've got to get my head around that a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I do understand fishing with those baits, but to be honest, when when you concentrate so hard on bloodworm fishing you lose a little bit from the other baits so i went on and had a little go um caught some fish on some other baits and i realized that i really do enjoy my hemp fishing so that was going to be my other bait a lot of people are catching on casters people are catching on chop worms people are catching on hemp i don't think you can do them all i think you need to pick your bread and butter fish which are bloodworm fish and then another bait so that's what i did and this week I drew 227, which is a nice area of the canal. It's nothing to shout home about. It's not a, a match winning area in general. I have actually won a match off that peg once before when it was very, very windy. And the roach were big along there at that time. But that doesn't really seem to happen anymore. So I was just looking forward to a nice day's fishing. But amazingly, when we got there for the draw at sort of hubba seven the canal wasn't frozen. By the time we'd done the draw and got out at nine o'clock, the canal was frozen. So in that hour and a half, the canal had frozen, which that's like the worst possible conditions. That means the water hasn't had a chance to get um, warm at all. Uh, sorry, like when it's got the ice over it, it can be a bit warmer. But when it's actually freezing, that's when the water's at its coldest. So I knew weights were going to be well down, to be honest. I knew they weren't going to see the same sort of weights that we had in the past. So I started off on Bloodworm and Joker. I had two lines, um, one at about 13 metres, one at about 10. And I caught a few fish steady away. Bites were very delicate. The fishing was really interesting. I was managed to put fish together all the time, fishing really small hooks, um, small floats. You needed it because bites were really delicate. And I was catching, I was catching well. I probably had 40 fish first hour and then... 40 fish I would say at least second hour and it was all going quite well to be honest as the match wore on I thought well if I'm gonna have a chance of winning the match then I'm gonna to have to really consider other baits and I've been feeding the hemp line all the time at 14 and a half meters in the last two hours I had a drop on hemp caught an odd fish it wasn't brilliant but it was good enough to keep putting 
a slightly better fish in the net. And I thought, well, every time I'm catching one of those, it's probably worth five or six of my little ones. So I'm going to keep doing that. And that's what I did until the end of the match. Kept nicking a few on, on hemp, um, finding my way. I had a little run. I felt you needed to concentrate on it. Uh, caught off bottom quite a bit, like two, three inches every now and again, which was nice. Um, really mixed it up and I actually had the last 20 minutes back on Bloodworm because the fish seemed to have gone and I had a nice match. Scales gave me £12, which was good in my section. Um, really, really nice net of fish. I had some decent fish mixed in with the Bloodworm fish and really, really enjoyed it. And I was delighted because when I got back, that was actually enough to win the match. So um, you can tell the weights had definitely dropped, but it was a good turnout on the match and to win the match, I was really, really pleased. Uh, I've had a really good start to 2016 after a little bit of a poor finish to 2015 really. So I'm really happy with the last few weeks, gone really smoothly. So that's what it's all about, isn't it? You know, you can't win all the time, but when you find a little bit of form, you're making the most of it. So a great start and I'm looking forward to hopefully getting on a match this weekend if the weather allows, because it has still kept really cold this week. But I'm sure there'll be something on. I'm sure there'll be, there'll be some keen... Uh, Anglers out next weekend. All right, keep you updated later. See you, bye.